guys go here and welcome back to another episode of the road to glory today team of the season is upon us and not only that we are going to be doing our icon pack so there is plenty to get into if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe leave the video a like rating and as i said 21 hours and four minutes for me as of recording this but as soon as you see this team of the season will be out. We've got community team of the season. We've also got the area Divisi team of the season. That is coming out at 6pm as well. I love this card design. I've got to say, the stuff that um, Major Lee and Lewis have done in terms of graphics for the counter, for the um, camera overlay is just fantastic. The fact that even behind me, I've even got all the lights to sort of have that bluey sort of yellow golden to it. I just love it. I absolutely love it. It's the best time of the year when we get team of the season bar... I'd probably say the start of the game and team of the year. Um, I do really enjoy team of the season, but I have been busy. Um, obviously, icon swaps is upon us, and most of it is nearly completed. The only things that we've got left to do are MLS Brazilians, and then we've also got our foot champs to do, which I'm going to try and get foot champs qualified tonight. Um, got to go and play some rival games first, but after that, we should be in a good position. Worst case, foot champs doesn't start till 6 p.m. Friday. So because of that, I might just actually end up playing qualification friday night and then playing from saturday onwards because we do have till tuesday morning i think it is so we've got all a monday night which is absolutely fantastic and i've got a full weekend off for once i've been able to get a full weekend off with being the start of team of the season it is absolutely perfect there's some lovely football on to watch this weekend and to be honest as i watch this there's not only europa league but a united chelsea game which is a nil nil game but there's been a good few chances and it's just nice to actually enjoy watching football and obviously a lot of this does contribute to the season and also the way that team of the season is going to look for the players that we get so we'll see what happens obviously um first three icon swaps done in terms of squad battles we've got loads of like the 75 plus packs to open if we can um if we can see them at least we are going to open them here because why not um it is worth doing We've also gone and finally got the season progress out, which is absolutely perfect. I think we've already got to level four, which just by playing two or three squad battle games is really, really good. So we'll obviously get more of that complete tonight with doing some rival gameplay. Hopefully we should be able to get to, I think we're on week week one silver. So we should be able to go to week one gold um, to get a bit more XP, just to get a few things into the club. Hopefully a few more good packs. Um, we are definitely going to be at 75 very good packs Um, the question is more going to be can we get to more than 75 i'm not too sure we're not going to be able to get to 100 i'm going to be realistic it's not going to happen Um, I, i'm just not able to with the time with actually wanting to play the game i really want to put time into gameplay rather than actually doing anything else so again we'll see with that um and Tekka did also get a silver star, so we will get that done at some point. Got added into milestones because there was a few issues with um, seasons and objectives and stuff. Obviously, Shakiri, we've only got a few days left on him, so I do want to try and get him done probably over the weekend, in all honesty. I'll probably get him done then. Um, if not, it'll be sort of the beginning of the week. But League and Icon swaps, I only had one game left from yesterday's video. So again, just got that done. Then went and did Bundesliga and then did the final game for the um, first owner English silver team, which is absolutely perfect. So hopefully um, we're going to get a good icon from, I think it's the 91 plus attackers on midfielder pack. Um, we're going to do a stat reveal on it because why not? Can't be bothered doing a roulette. So yeah, just a stat reveal will do us. But what it will mean is the next three tokens that we get, we'll be able to do the 82 times 25 and then the 83 times 25. And then I think it's the 23rd of May is when we get the next set of nine tokens. With that, three will go into the 84 times 25. And then the other five will go into, I think it's the 85 times 20 pack. Um, which again, looks some really good packs for fodder. Depending on what team the season is out, it may help out. If it's maybe like the Ligue 1 or if it's going to end up being like La Liga or something like that. Again, there'll be usable cards over the next few weeks. Um, hopefully we can get some and pack some. Hopefully, uh, we'll also be able to try and get some in red picks. Obviously, weekend league rewards have changed. If you missed yesterday's video, go check it out. I've kind of done a full run through of it with all the stuff in seasons. Uh, we're just going to go and claim everything here more than anything, which is absolutely fine. But obviously, we will do a quick run through of, again, there's some random things. In terms of level 15, we're probably going to be taking Wagner. In terms of level 30, off the top of my head, we're going to take Cahill. Just because he's English and, again, fits a lot of teams. Jean Mario will go into the Portugal team, though. 
and Gaboa would probably go into the Eredivisie team. So it depends what the first owner teams look like in, what, 40-odd days' time? Again, we'll see what happens with that. But in terms of objectives, we are up-to-date, um, as up-to-date as we can be. We're up to 86 packs in the store. However, I reckon at least six or seven of them will be 75-plus packs. So if we go to Icon Swaps, as you can see, I've favorited the ones that we want to do, the 82 times 25, the 83 times 25, 84 times 25, 85 times 20, and the 91 plus attackers and mid pack as Chelsea have just scored with, I think it was Marcus Alonso. I mean, no surprise that United are losing, but it's been a very different sort of game. So anyway, we'll see what happens by the end of that. But we've got five more icon swaps token to add in here. Obviously, we could do the 84 times 25 pack and the 85 times 20 pack straight away, but I'd rather not because what's the point? So yeah, it is what it is. We're just going to do this icon pack now. Everybody else is doing it, so it'll be interesting to see what we can get. I would probably say I'd prefer a midfielder or a very good attacker to probably replace R9. Um, if we were to get, I'm going to say someone like a Pukas or a Pele, or to be honest, Pele would end up going as Cam, Johan Cruyff or Hullet, Mateus would be perfect. I'd love to get Philip Lahm. Um, there's loads of different icons that we can get, but we'll open it in a minute. Um, as I said, we've got the 75 plus packs to open. We're just going to go through all of these. Any duplicates, we'll go into SBCs. We've got all the daily SBCs to do, all of that type of stuff. And we're already packing board here. And if Erlan Mendy, I feel like this could be a duplicate. Nope, it's not. That is absolutely fine. However, if it is, we have got the, I think it's the Ligon 75 times 15 pack. Um, because of the fact that EA can have worked out there's not a lot of 81 pluses in the league and they've just basically tried to screw everybody over and not give us anything so a bit of a weird one but i did think this would be the issue and um, not only do the 75 plus packs not show up nor does the icon pack so that is going to have to be opened on the web app and then we're going to have to come across and actually open it here which is fine again i haven't got an issue with that we're not going to rip that open anyway but again would have been just nice to at least be able to open it here and not have to faff around with it. But until we can see it, um, ooh, Cristiano Ronaldo making it one all within about two minutes, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to see that there. So what I'll do is obviously I'll open the 75 plus packs in my own time and deal with duplicates for marquee matchups, build up some packs and stuff. But I'm going to go and open that icon pack. I'll be right back with the stat reveal. Okay, then. So the pack is open haven't seen anything i was able to change the screen quick enough close down the web app so we should have a 91 plus icon moment we are obviously going to do a stat reveal as i said because well a, a roulette could take quite a while and because some icons aren't there i don't want to sort of slightly mess it up so we know it's going to be an attacker or some sort of midfielder in terms of the defensive stats they're either going to be pretty low um because obviously it isn't going to be a top tier defender um, but it could still be a defensive midfielder, which I am all for. So if we just go and bring this over, if we click on that, um, you have items to deal with. Okay, so the icon is there. We don't know who it is, but if we go through to here, started off with 88 physical, some good physical stats. It does worry me that if this is a striker, it could be somebody like a Van Basten or something like that, purely down to the fact that it could be obviously quite a big stocky player. Um, I think this defensive stats could be where it's at. And it's 76 defending. So my guess is it's going to be some sort of midfielder um, or some sort of cam. Now, in terms of who we could get, I have no idea. 98 dribbling. That is very good dribbling. 98 passing. Don't don't tell me. This is Hullet, isn't it? 93 shooting. 86 pace. Who is this? Is uh oh, I don't think that's Hullet, is it? Is that Pirlo actually? I have a feeling that's Pirlo. I was hoping it was Hullet with all them good stats, but I have a feeling this could be Pirlo. It's Zidane! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's moment Zidane! <laughs> that is incredible! Oh my 
God, no, that's, that's ridiculous. That is, I have to say, one of the best icons I've ever pulled. We've had Baby R9, we've had Prime Maldini, and we've just gone and packed Moments Zidane. This card looks unreal. In terms of how he fits into the team, he walks straight in as easily going to be our midfielder. But I just don't know where he plays. Does he play as the box-to-box? -box, or does it mean that Gerard drops as the attack and centre mid into the box-to-box? -box? I have no idea. But Caligori is out for him 100%. We'll change the formation up. Prime moment, Zidane. I don't care what we get over team this season. Zidane will never leave this team. In terms of how the team plays right now, that is how it looks. And, ah, oh, prime icon moment, Zidane. I wouldn't even questioned about getting him. But this card is phenomenal. 98 passing, you don't even touch it. 98 dribbling, don't even touch it. I am probably going to put either. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to put a shadow on him. I genuinely think a shadow is the best thing for him. Or completely max out passing and dribbling. Really upgrading the stats and go with an, a, an engine on him, maybe. In terms of defensively, I think he has to swap with Gerard. 100% he has to swap with Gerard. That is a phenomenal card. Absolutely phenomenal card. All that we need to do now, over team of the season, I just want a good cam. That's all that we need. We need to replace Pele. Obviously, Tonali's just going to got his upgrade. In terms of how the team will line up, dead easy. I'm going to go and play some rivals with this. I want to see how Zidane looks. So I'm going to go get into some gameplay. And we're going to go hop into Team of the Season. And we're going to have a bit of a review on Zidane after this. And yeah, I, I, I'm speechless. Zidane, icon moments. He's in the club. All right, and guys, so just before we hop into 6 p.m. content, there's about two minutes away from it. And we've got two things to do. One. Icon Moments Zidane is probably the best midfielder I have used. And also the team is going to get a new addition. As you can see, there's one item in the store. Reason being is we have a Sergio Ramos. Um, I got him as a duplicate from doing some of the smaller packs from League SBCs and stuff. Um, we did end up getting him as a duplicate. And so, Prime Icon Moments Zanetti is coming into the club before team of the season. With 70 days left, we are going to get him complete. Getting rid of a few lower rated cards. Obviously, the club's not got a lot in it right now. So, we're using a few 86s. Yeah, we're using a red Ganduzi, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so just before we hop into it, we've got a Remix player pack to add anyway to it all. Um, Messias can go. Fun card, don't get me wrong, would be nice to keep hold of, but at the same time, we don't need him. We're going to get more improvements, and also, it means that Zanetti comes into the club. So I think for this weekend league, um, the reason I wanted to complete him now is because he will replace Kyle Walker. Um, it's another icon moment into the club, which I think is very good. And in terms of the next one that we're working on, I think it might be Lom. Um, other than the fact that we could get something over the next sort of 24 hours with icon swaps and SBCs and all that type of stuff, I'm not too sure. But yeah, the fact that we can now add Zanetti into here means that Sergio Ramos needs no strong links. So if we were to get, I don't know, an Ika Casillas, perfect. Or if we were to get any other centre-back that we can just sort of link in here and then test out somebody else that'd be absolutely perfect but yeah Kyle Walker has served as well over 500 games on him he's going to go onto the bench instead of Tavernier just because he's obviously a hell of a lot better and we'll see what Zanetti's like if we don't like him and um, then maybe we'll switch him out for Tonali use Zanetti as the sort of central midfielder but Zidane playing in this role is phenomenal Gerard, I'm really enjoying him as that box to box as this midfield, I think it's absolutely incredible. And obviously Pele and Ronaldo up there. I would like to improve my cam. And I think one of the strikers I think needs improving. But by that, we're in a really, really good place. And so with that being said, it is now 6pm. It is now team of the season. And I will not be backing out. Obviously, we've had a loading screen. I don't want to run the risk of losing the fact that we're connected to the EA servers. So we're going to stay on them. And we're going to see what we've got in terms of objectives. Team of the season, Parejo, and team of the season, Mario Junior. Um, again, very nice card on him for, do you know what? Squad battles or rivals, which is perfect. Professional difficulty as well is the highest that you need to do. Your average packs back, which is fine. And then Parejo coming in the community challenge. Again, really, really nice looking card. Um, obviously going to be an upgrade on his rule breakers. 
So that card will be going into an SBC, which is perfect. In terms of community challenge, the thing is ooh, seven leagues and maximum one loan. So mainly a main nation. Now, the fact that you need Spanish players sort of goes along with the theme of you're probably going to use a lot of Spanish players from off leagues. Again, if you've got a good Spanish team, then it's all good. Run for the Ocean, another kit there as well. And then I'm going to say that is it um, for objectives, which, again, we never really get too many objectives when it comes to team of the season. We've had quite a lot recently as well in terms of getting packs. Obviously, all of them have gone now with the pre-team of the season. In terms of SBCs, we'll go and check them as well as going, and we'll go through a, run, a full run-through of the team. But we've got, ooh, team of the season, Raspadori. This card looks phenomenal. As a cam, he looks good. But as a striker, I think he could be better. Four-star, five-star, which is very nice on him. Fantastic pace. Really good shooting. Really nice passing. Fantastic dribbling. A dead eye on him. I think he could be really, really fun to use. Two segments for him. An 84 and an 85 rated team. That's not too bad. The fact that he's there for, what, a week, I'm going to say? Yeah, a week to do him, I think is very, very nice. Um, in terms of everything else that we've got, obviously, we've got all these icons still appearing at the front but we've also got team of the season community challenge one for a premium mixed player pack and we've got is that it is that it for sbcs that genuinely looks to be it the ac milan kit obviously we knew that that was going to come at some point it was added into the code but sbcs are looking a little bit light in all honesty so it is kind of turn to Twitter and see what are the brand new team of the seasons that we've got. Obviously, got two new teams to run through. So, here we go. Team of the season in terms of the community is going to be Suarez, Lloris, Laporte, Carrasco, Gnabry, Saha, Fred, Gerard Moreno, uh, McGinn, Carqueta, Connor. Oh, Connor Cody would be a fun card to get. Adiemi, Mitchell. Um, to Debo, and then we've also got Livermento. So some really nice cards there. Um, obviously, we're not going to go through all of them. We might go through them more tomorrow. In terms of the other team of the season, here we go. The Aero Divisi is out. Sadly, only the 11 players, which is a little bit frustrating, but Gravenberch, Halle, Sangria, Koku, Anthony, Timber, Gakpo, and then we've also got Sinistera, um, Mazori, Wijnald, Actually, Wijnald could be a very fun card. And then we've got the German goalkeeper, who I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. But Gravenberch looks an unbelievable card. Sangri would be a fun card as well. I think Timber could be a really good card to test out as well as that. In terms of what we could get from awards, we could get, I think it's maximum 90 rated. So Timber, Gakpo, Sinister, Mazori, Wijnald, and then the goalkeeper. Or we could also then end up getting Liveramento, Tadebo, Mitchell, Adiemi, Connor Cody, Kaketa, McGinn, and Gerard Moreno. So there's quite a lot of lower rated cards, but there's still not too many high rated cards. I mean, what, Suarez being the highest rated with Larice, and then again, Laporte coming in as a 94 rated. I'll be honest, I think this is a good team of the season. Um, I, I think it's got a lot of improvements, definitely, but. It's a very good team of the season and one that I would like to be able to pack just a few out of. Again, it doesn't have to be all the cards in the world, but if we could get a few, that would be nice. Obviously, we are here with lightning rounds as per usual. It's team of the season. We're going to get them for a while. Um, and then the really weird 80 to 86 squad build to play packs. Just do 50Ks. If you're going to spend the FIFA points, just do 50Ks. It makes zero sense. Um, we've got 17 seconds on our preview pack. So we'll go and open one pack. Um, then we'll go and do a preview pack. And then we'll continue to open packs. Obviously, tomorrow we are just going to be opening packs upon packs. And um, we're going to have some weekend league to do as well. I do need to qualify for that tonight. But that is absolutely fine. I will happily do that. And we'll see. Maybe Sunday we'll get our rewards done. And see what we can get. Two player pack already given us boards. It's a good little start. I don't think I've missed anything else in terms of 6pm content. I think the Raspadori SBC could be one that we do. We do do. Um, it does look a good card. So, again, I might see what sort of people's reviews are of him see what he's like but overall i've got to say our icon moments pack has been better than team of the season for me i nobody's going to replace the dan now so again that's fantastic but at the same time if we somehow do get like a gravenberch he goes straight into that team and the whole team will have a change around so we will see what happens there but i think what we're going to do is we're going to finish off on a big pack because again 
we're not going to open too many packs now. It is mainly going to be in tomorrow's video. We will open packs, hopefully. Team of the Seasons will start to fly out. If we do get any here, we are going to use them in Weekend League. Same with tomorrow. If we get any, we're going to test them out. But for now, don't end on a Team of the Season. Just a big walkout. It is going to be Verratti. Not a bad little card. Obviously, we're going to be filling the club back up with fodder, which is perfect. Thiago Silva, Havertz, Morata. Cards that we could normally have in, but definitely ones that we can fill up with. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it for Team of the Season. We'll be back tomorrow. Obviously, open all of them packs. And I'm out. Peace.